I think we all know the saying, I hear, I forget. I see, I understand. I do, I remember. But how deeply do we actually respond to that or understand it? Some of our recent ways of understanding how we think and how we know have really helped us see why that quote was always such a telling and a resonating quote. One of the challenges though is when we start to understand that we think differently and that we may learn differently, the challenge from there is to how do we actually let that influence our teaching? You know, how does that follow us through? And because what happens is that our preferred way is not necessarily the richest way, either of learning or of teaching. One of the things I've come to understand is that emotion and cognition are not separate. Emotion and thinking, if you like, are not separate as we've sometimes thought. Um, imagination and critical reflection are not separate. Um, emotion and action are not separate. That in fact, the most powerful human ways of knowing are when we integrate our various ways. And I want to try and explain that, perhaps through a little example of my own. I know in my own preferred way of thinking now that I'm a naturally quite a reflective cerebral person, I like to have the concepts, I like to analyse it, I like to test it out, so, and I like to think about it, talk about it, argue it. And so one experiment for me was enough that we could then spend three days talking about it or thinking about it. But of course for lots of students that I was teaching, that didn't work at all. For them, their strongest sense of knowing came through doing. And what I came to understand was that I needed to know enough doing for them to be feeling it, knowing it, um, sort of felt meaning for them, and even if they couldn't articulate why it meant something, that it actually had some meaning. And my job was to use my strength in helping them think about it, imagine it, think about it, visualise it different ways, to actually bring a more articulated knowing to what it was that they knew at some experiential level. So when I go back to the idea I hear, I forget, I see, I, I remember, I, sorry, I see, I understand, I do, I remember. What I think that's standing for for me is that when we explore something in all of those ways, through our experience, our own personal story, our imagination, or bringing out the big idea from that, and then articulating it, clarifying it, challenging it, um, and then coming through from that to saying, well, what does that mean? So what, what am I going to do with that? Where does that come back to my life? How do I now act with that? So the multiple ways of knowing, multiple ways of thinking is the challenge. Biggest challenge is to understand yourself first because you'll naturally go to your preferred way of teaching, your preferred way of thinking. The strategies you use will represent you and what you prefer, not necessarily what's best for you, nor certainly what's not, not necessarily what's best for students.